So this is where we stopped in the previous video. We're solving for the coefficient beta under the two-step least square regression model. And this is what we got so far. Let's keep solving the math. So we have delta 1 of the sample divided by delta 1 of that sample to the power of 2. So that cancels out with 1 square. And we're left with this. So let's write what we're left with. Covariance between yi, zi divided by sigma, sorry, delta 1 um, estimated times the variance of z. Okay, so what is going to be delta 1 estimated? We calculated. We calculated in the previous video, so we're going to take that result. Delta 1 estimated, we have it somewhere over here. Just a second. This is it, you see? We're going to copy and paste it. This is, hold on. Uh, like, no. Uh, just a second. Technical issues. Boom. It should work now. Okay, delta 1. Delta 1 estimated. We copy. We copy and paste it over here below. Let's see what we get. Uh, make space like that yes this is gonna be our delta 1 this is gonna be our delta 1 now what we have left is this we're gonna multiply with the variance because this is what's happening in the denominator we have this multiplied with the variance of Z and we have here the covariance between Y and Z we have the covariance between Y and Z we divide everything by it uh, covariance Y zi and that's equal to the beta of the two-step least square let me change colors because it's too light so that's uh, beta of two uh, two yeah that one uh, okay variance of z with variance of z cancels out what what are we left with what are we left with we have covariance of y zi divided by the covariance of xi covariance of xi and zi Notice, what was our goal? It was to prove that this slope coefficient is the same as the instrumental variable. So this is equal to beta of the instrumental variable. Notice this, this ratio of covariances. We had it two videos ago. We go back to those two videos to prove to ourselves that we're being right. So it's over here. This is the ratio, zy, yy, relative to zy, xy. And the logic is that, as we said, the change in y that happens is due to the change in x only because we have this effect from the instrumental variable so we're isolating the variation in the outcome due to the instrumental variable getting rid of the variation that happens due to the omitted variable hope this all makes sense and we are done